Hey guys, uh, welcome back uh, to uh, Confusing Bits. I am Corey, and uh, today we're going to talk about Waking Up by Sar Sam Harris, A Guide to Spirituality Without Re Religion. So, yeah, so this book uh, is about uh, meditation, basically. It's talking about a, a non-woo-woo, not completely clinical science. Uh, it is talking about uh, uh, spirituality and stuff like that, but not in a woo-woo way. You know, it's not trying to, like, completely clean the the slate of, of any non-scientific thing. Because you have the, the scientific exploration of meditation, uh, and then you have the woo-woo side. This is, like, smack dab in the middle like it, acknowledging that that there are some spiritual uh uh spirit feeling uh 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 uh, 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 uh subject matter uh, I involved with uh <laughs> with uh with meditation uh along with the, the medical benefits or the scientific benefits but anyway uh it, it like it, it acknowledges that it, it it's just on that line you know so <laughs> Um, as you know, uh, you may or may not know, Sam Harris is a, uh, is, I think he's an atheist. I'm pretty sure he's an atheist. Um, and I'm pretty sure he wrote some books on atheism or whatever. And, uh, he's a great speaker, fantastic speaker. If you ever see him, uh, uh on some like podcast or something like that, he's, is a, always a, a great listen, uh, to, to listen to him. I think he's been on Joe Rogan and several, several others. He's pretty famous kind of intellectual kind of future. Now, I think he's a neuroscientist or whatever. I didn't do this. I'm sorry. I didn't do the spill. Uh, so too long did read. This is a fantastic book. Um, I would highly recommend this. So this is, this is great. So get this book. <laughs> if you don't know anything about meditation, get this book. If you, all you have is woo woo information about meditation, get this book. If all you have is the, 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 clinical scientific explanations of 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 meditation get this book basically this is the this is this is a fantastic introduction to the hows and whys and and whatnot of of meditation so let's do uh, let's do the blurb okay uh so with his usual sharp and elegant prose, Sam Harris, one of the great skeptics of our time, shows how spiritual traditions provide important truths that have largely been missed by the scientific and secular communities. Waking Up is an extraordinary book. It, it's a seeker's memoir, a scientific and philosophical exploration of the self, and a how-to guide for transcendence. It explores the nature of conscious, uh, consciousness, explains how to meditate, tells you the best strokes to take, and warns you about lecherous gurus. It will shake up your most fundamental beliefs about everyday experience and it might just change your life that is uh paul bloom uh professor of psychology and cognitive science at yale university and author of just babies the origins of good and evil uh next one is waking up is a rigorous kind clear and witty book that will point you towards the selfless uh, uh, toward, point you towards the selflessness that is our original nature mitchell uh, stephen mitchell and uh there's a couple more but you get the gist um, yeah. let's read about Sam Harris here Sam Harris is the author of the best selling books The End of Faith, A Letter to Christian Nation The Moral Landscape, Free Will and Lying uh, The End of Faith won a 2005 Pen Award for nonfiction. his writing has been published in more than 15 languages Dr. Harris is a co-founder and CEO of Project Reason a nonprofit foundation devoted to spreading scientific knowledge and secular values in society he received a degree in philosophy from Stanford University and a PhD in neuroscience from UCLA please visit his website at samharris.org alright this is uh, this is a fantastic book. So, as it kind of alluded to here, he uh, he goes through, he explains his experience uh, with meditation because he's talked about meditation for a long time. Uh, anytime you hear him talk, you're probably going to hear him talk about meditation somewhat. Uh, but uh, uh, again, he's he's an atheist or whatever, so he's very much not into the 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 usual trappings of meditation. Uh, but he he's always 
talked about how how it's how it's really great. And he he goes through. He makes he he talks about his experience uh, with meditation. And he talks about some of the things that he's had difficulty with it. And he he talks about the benefits, of course. Uh, he's pitching uh, that you should be uh, uh, meditating, and uh, uh, and he uh, and then he talks again. He talks about not falling in the traps of of the the guru style uh of being very careful about who you choose to be your your guru if you're going to go down that path uh talks about some of those pitfalls um i this is a very quick read um i took a trip uh it's about an hour and a half uh a trip up to like a town uh, i had to go out of town and it was like an hour and a half uh, one way and I had to go both ways so I think I, I think I got through it in like three maybe four hours it went by very quick um, and it's uh, it's a great read I had it on audiobook uh, that's I was driving so that's why, why I heard it and that's why I was get able to get through it so quick but uh, I'm pretty sure he read the audiobook but it was well read I, I remember uh, being very uh, uh, pleased with the audiobook so if you want to read it that way that is also an excellent option, um, and uh, yeah, uh, I have never. I have done. I have personally tried meditation over the years, just off my own and off of like people talking, like YouTube videos um, or whatever. Just the, the things that you pick up about new meditation if you're not looking into it too deeply. So I, I did the, you know, close your eyes, breathe, focus on your breath, maybe do the um, or, you know, doing some of these rituals and stuff. And I had done it off and on, uh, for a little while, but I've been doing it for about the last month. Ever since I, I read this book, I've been, um, mostly doing it every morning and i actually got the waking up app on my phone just because it was like it was following the prescription that that he was talking about in the book which i which i agree with and uh, doing that actually getting some real guidance uh, through the meditation i'm sure there are other high quality meditation apps that are going to guide you properly uh in into meditation whatever properly means i'm sure there's uh, great ones but i just I, I trusted that that sam knew what the hell he was talking about and he wasn't going to go off in the, the woo woo land um and so i got his app and it, it's kind of expensive you, you have to buy like a whole year you can't just do like a month or whatever but they do the free trial and whatever whatever i got uh, i got the you had to subscribe for the year i got the year and uh, so i've got it for a year and there's a bunch of content on here so it's not i'm still doing the introductory thing um so i've been doing it every day so uh so it's been a month and i'm about halfway through so i've been about half the days but anyway i'm outing myself for my uh not being disciplined but anyway <laughs> So yeah, I do my morning walk, and then after I get done with the morning walk, I do the uh, do the meditation. I mean, it helps. I think it. I think it helps. Uh, like I said, we're just getting started, but I feel you know a little bit uh, a little bit more clear headed. I feel like I'm understanding what I'm supposed to be doing in the meditation a, a lot more. There's definitely some stuff already that he's introducing that he's like okay we're going to start doing this stuff you're not going to really understand what's going on or it may not be clicking yet and that's okay you know uh so that was that's nice so, like i said it's it's a nice guided introduction and he does do the you don't have to get the app he does explain the things that he's introducing in the guided meditations he does explain it in the book so if you want to just do the book I read the book and, and and get a decent starter i think you can get started that way but i do i do like the app um i've really enjoyed it and i uh i would definitely recommend it if you if you have i think it was i think it was like a 100 bucks or something or other but i know that's expensive but um it's just worth it for me to know that i'm not wasting my time on something else or i don't feel like i'm wasting my time on something else like you can get free stuff but i don't know the quality that's the problem <laughs> so i'm willing to pay to have a guaranteed thing or if that makes any sense but anyway uh <laughs> uh i thoroughly this is probably judging by how well things have been going so far and how much i thoroughly enjoy this book and i've enjoyed the meditation app 
this might be book of the year already. Um, um, I mean, this is near the end of the year, but this might be very close to book of the year for me. Um, there are a couple like tentpole books that, that, that I will hold up as really, especially if you're talking about from a, a health or productivity standpoint, personal development standpoint, there are just a few books that I like all of, all of these books are like productivity books, right? And that's how many I've read that I still have, whatever. I think that's most of all the productivity stuff that I've read over the years. But really, it's like Atomic Habits is a big tentpole one. Simple Path to Wealth is another one. How to Win Friends and Influence People. I, I do love The Millionaire's Fast Lane and Mega Six. So it's less than half a dozen. It's like, well, uh, it's like less than half a dozen. So put it all together it's probably half a dozen book that I would put like on the highly recommended list thus far in my reading and um, I think this is going to be one of them uh, I'm pretty sure it is it's uh, this is a fantastic book I would highly recommend it um, especially if, 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 if you've never tried meditation or if you tried it and you didn't really know what you were doing or whatever I, I really recommend the book and the uh, the little thing um, I don't know if they have a code I can put in the description. That's not going to happen. I'm too lazy for that. But anyway, I highly recommend, uh, highly recommend the book. And uh, uh, I guess we'll keep this one short and sweet. We're under 15 minutes. It's amazing, right? So yeah. So this has been uh, uh, Sam Harris uh, waking up, or waking up by Sam Harris. Uh, highly recommend it. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Oh wait, let's do the next one up. There's going to be a short and sweet one. It's, it's Call a Wild by Jack London. But uh, as you can see, it's a tiny book. <laughs> so that's coming up next. See you then.